Hi guys, this is Warren at BMW Sports Car and today we're going to talk about the internal question of what should you get if you buy E92 M3. Should you get DCT or a 6-speed transmission? Today I'll tell you my thoughts on this and actually I should be in a good position to, to tell you because I actually had a E92 M3 with DCT and I currently have a E92 M3 with the 6-speed manual. So as we know we currently have an E92 M3 is in Melbourne Red is a 2008 and it has a 6-speed transmission. But back in the day uh, in 2008 I also had a first when at that time brand new a 2008 E92 M3 in black with the DCT. So the question is which one should you get? Well here's my thought on both. Both of them are great. First off, let's say the DCT, let's start with that, is a great transmission. I mean, for very fast upshifts and downshifts, you can't beat uh, BMW's DCT, which first came out in the E92 M3. Obviously, there's DCT as well in the current M3s, M4s. Um, and the reason they were better than the previous generation SMG, which was a single clutch transmission that was in the E46 M3, was that if you just want to put it into automatic mode, um, the car drives like a regular automatic car, while the SMG had issues. It was clunky. It was jerky. It was as horrible when it was when you want to drive it like automatic. So, the DCT accomplished what. You know BMW and what buyers wanted. They wanted a transmission that they could, uh, you know, if they want to be very sporty with it, take it on the track, for instance. Uh, the upshifts, downshifts work really well. In fact, I mean, let's be honest, they're faster than uh, most people could do manually with a six-speed transmission. But if you just want to drive and put it into automatic drive, it actually drives like automatic. Now, with the six-speed manual, um, you now get a different sort of feel. To me, now having the 6 speed manual is a lot more engaging with the E92 M3 than it is with DCT. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I sold my first E92 M3 because, to be quite frank, I got bored of it after a while. Now, I will put the caveat that I was not doing motorsports back then, and if I had started doing uh, track events and autocross events with that DCT car it would have been a different story but back then it was just pretty boring just to drive with the DCT um, you know after a while the novelty went off like oh uh, upshift downshift so I got bored with it really quick and it's kind of telling that since that that uh, car the first 2008 E92 M3 with the DCT I have not bought another sports car with a dual clutch transmission. All my cars have been six speed manuals. Now with the six speed manual in the E92 M3 it's not perfect. And let's be honest, it's not the best gearbox ever made by BMW. Um, it's definitely not a great gearbox compared to say some of the gearboxes that comes out of Porsche or even some other brands like the Honda S2000 is a great gearbox. Um, you know, this is long throws in the E92 M3. It's um, kind of notchy. And I have a feeling, and I, I'm not 100% certain, but I think that the, the ratios are a little bit longer when you have the 6 speed compared to the DCT. It just feels like the DCT, you could just, sh you know, it's not the shifting that's, that's faster, it's just that you could just, you know, get it up there faster, it seems, with the DCT than the 6 speed manual. It could just be, a, it just could be in my mind. It, it may not be a difference. But with all that said, the 6 speed manual is so much more fun. I mean, that's what, what it comes down to. If you want to drive this car every day, you really want to have fun and engage yourself, especially with that marvelous V8 engine, you can't beat the 6 speed manual. So, it, you know, it comes down to this. If you're looking to buy E92 M3 and you are sort of stuck in deciding what you want, either a DCT or a manual, I'll say these should be your thought considerations. A, if this car is going to be your daily driver and you put, so in other words, you're planning to drive every day, uh, drive to work, and you face traffic going to work, then to be quite frank, 
DCT is your best bet because you know you're just gonna have a greater experience with the car with DCT you don't have to worry about um, you know clutch you know and go stop and go traffic which you know to be frank is a pain in the ass so in that case get the DCT if this car is more of like your weekend car or a secondary car or even you know like your motor your motorsport car like you want to take it to the track get the manual now we all know that again especially on the track conditions you cannot be a dual clutch transmission like them like the DCT or the PDK that's in Porsches but I'm um, gonna be very frank with you there's a lot more engagement and a lot more reward for you to to roll up your own gears than to let some machine do it it's just that's the thing I mean you always can get better um, with six-speed manual with DCT you know you're gonna be you can be a rock star out of the gate I mean this you know to be quite frank there's no talent really to just shift up and down right but to get heel and toe uh, the six speed it, it, you know it's something you work for so in my mind the winner is the six speed manual for the E92 M3 but again uh, that's for me um, it depends on what you need and I kind of went over it so you know good luck with your choices and I hope that this video has helped a little bit with your thought consideration thank you for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and you know give us likes and also if you want to learn more uh, come to our website at bmwsportscar.com thank you